Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. A few weeks ago I made a tutorial on how to draw comic stones. Afterwards I realized that the topic was easy enough to test out new colors. And because these colors are completely new to me, I decided to make a tutorial on how to create a glazing chart and how to use it. In the previous tutorial I used Windsor Violet as a shading color and I wanted to know how the color would react with the new colors that I bought. To start out you need to figure out what colors you want to test out. I used five colors meaning that I will need a grid of six by six. I taped off the areas by cutting uh, little strips of tape to make it easier for me. For me, I use the top to bottom as the first layer. I make sure that the color is diluted with a lot of water, creating a wash. And I put that down first for each color that I'm going to test. In this tutorial, I am testing out five colors and I need a grid of six because the first row and column will be the original color that you put down. The reason for an extra row and column is so you have a reference for the original color itself. This is because the dry and wet version can differ in color a lot. For instance, the perylene violet that I use here is more reddish when it's wet, but when it dries up it's actually more towards the purple color and this reference is easy so you know what the color will actually look like when it's dry so you don't make any mistakes when you're adding it to your piece. If you want to know what colors I am using you can find a list of them in the description below. The last color I am adding to this chart is the Windsor Violet. This is a color that I've used a lot before, but because I want to test out the other colors against this one, I put it in there. Make sure that after the first layer you leave it to dry completely before starting on the rows. Because we want the first row to contain the original colors, we start coloring the second row. To make it easy on yourself, just use the same order of colors you've used in the columns. Now, a few tutorials earlier I did a mixing chart and the difference between a mixing chart and a glazing chart is that with a mixing chart the colors are mixed before you put them on the paper and with a glazing chart they're completely separate layers. In the second part of this tutorial you will see me use this chart for another set of stones that I made. In the stones tutorial I created a blue and green set of stones and I used the violet to make it a set. I wanted to add to that collection and that's why I created this chart because I wanted to know how the other colors would react with the violet color. Afterwards, it's very important to label the rows and the columns and write down the colors you've used for future reference. It's also a very good way of figuring out what different colors you can create with the limit amount of colors you already have. 
I started out with 5 and now I have 20 extra colors. In the past, I've also made bigger charts with 20 colors and these charts come in very handy when you need to pick colors for a smaller palette, for instance when you're traveling. For this set, I used the Perline Maroon color as a base layer. If of course you want a more detailed explanation of all the steps that I'm going through here, you can find a link to the tutorial in the description below. Here you can see I've put down a wash of the base color and now I am going over it with a more saturated version of that same color. Here I am referring to the chart. I know what color I am using for the base, so I am checking out that column and then going to the row of the color that I want to add and then I have an idea of what the end result will look like. At the end of this video I will give you the result of the other colors that I have tested out. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to stay up to date with my latest videos, please hit the subscribe button. I post videos every Saturday. And as always, if you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. I thank you for watching and until next time.